Well, I uh, finally finished the enclosed trailer, which has taken a lot longer than what uh, I was initially expecting. Now, off the bat, I plan to just buy it and fix the bare minimum and sell it, but uh, kind of OCD and got distracted and ended up taking it all the way down to the frame and redoing it. So I just wanted to do kind of a quick walk around um, just to show what all got replaced on the trailer, which is pretty much everything. Um, but just wanted to go through, you know, kind of piece by piece and show what got replaced and is fixed. So I put a new jack on there. This is all new diamond plate, all new paneling. I ended up raising the height of the trailer um, a foot and two inches. So it was like six foot or six foot four interior height. Now it's like yeah, seven foot six interior height. So quite a bit taller. Um, all new roof, all new trim. Um, new fenders i ended up putting some windows in um, with screens just in case you wanted to camp in it or something like that um new running lights i had to do a new wheel caps those were broken and all crappy looking um the back of the trailer i had to rebuild the ramp completely which was um i thought i'd be able to salvage that off the bat but uh come to find out i didn't uh, all new running lights and brake lights on the back. I relocated the license plate bracket. Just it was up high and then when you fold down the ramp you could damage your license plate and so it's a little bit more protected there. I Same thing on this side. New fenders, wheel caps, running lights, window. Um, I ended up going with seamless paneling. Uh, should, be, should be able to weather the winters a little bit better with all the salt they put on the roads. A little bit less corrosion where the screws are on the trailer. I rebuilt the man door. Ha, one of the few things I got to salvage from the old trailer is the little holder for when the door's open. <laughs> one of the only things I did. And then if I open it up, well, these latches are new as well. So I did all new poly bead flooring um, for snowmobiling and it's a lot more water resistant, it's supposed to hold up quite a bit better, it's pretty durable. Um, so that's all new throughout. I ended up reskinning the whole interior as well. You can kind of see the, the roof a little bit better, that's all new, one piece roof. Um, a new roof vent and then ended up doing LED lights in the interior and that's about all there is to it. One thing that kind of shows how short the old trailer was, this door was full height in the old trailer so now it looks really tiny. Um, but that was the height of the trailer before I rebuilt it and now it's quite a bit taller so I'm, I'm content with how it turned out. Didn't, uh, didn't go as quickly as what I had anticipated but I am happy with how it turned out. It, uh, should be should be pretty good.